All right, Killer Clan, welcome back to Giant Foods. Now, I know it has been forever since we did a Giant Foods episode. Probably like two months, maybe. Um, today's going to be a little bit different, though, because you guys have been requesting it. And uh, maybe at this time, I start taking this a little bit more serious and start eating healthy. So, uh, as you can see, I got some uh, meatless burgers here. I also have some meatless chicken patties. And you wonder why. I also have vegan A's. Now, why is that? Um, because the killer's going vegan. The world's biggest vegan stack burger challenge. Let's put it together. As you saw, we had the uh, classic cook at plant paste burgers there. We also have um, some don't be chicken, meatless chicken breasts. We also have some uh, faking. That's an abomination. Some faking, so uh, some fake bacon. Now, Mr. Poole's concern is that if this is gonna taste bad, but what if it tastes good? Are we going vegan? Or will the killer turn vegan? If I was a betting man, I wouldn't put any money on it. But uh, anyways, we also, this was the hardest part, trying to find bread that didn't have any eggs or anything in it, but we did happen to find these right here. They don't have any eggs, no dairy, no nothing. So these are the tickets. And of course, we got our vegetables and uh, healthy, vegetables. healthy some, some fries we're gonna do in the air fryer, so. I'm not gonna lie, it kinda does look good too. And this is a, uh, if you're a hardcore vegan, vegetarian, whatever it may be, comment below like what your favorite. I've only ever had one meatless item and that was an impossible whopper. So that's what I'm basing this whole thing on. But, uh, so we got our uh, plant-based burgers down. Now we have these chicken patties that have fake grill marks on them. We're gonna drop them off. Nah, we're, we're keeping an open mind here, Mr. Poole. We're, we're willing to attempt this. Yeah, yeah, could be good. Does not smell good, but... Sometimes things don't smell good, I mean. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. This tastes exactly like the dog treats I gave Anderson this morning. And that, I'm not, it's not a stab at the vegan stuff. It's, it's it smells exactly, exactly what it smells like. Okay, but we're keeping an open mind, Mr. Cool. Remember, we're keeping an open mind. Alright, here we go. Mm. I feel like there's many calories in there. There's our meatless. <laughs> meatless. Alright, there's our meatless. Meatless, uh. Yeah. It's full grill. No meat. We got some tomato here, Mr. Poole. Your favorite. Gross. I don't know how you like your tomato. We, uh. We obviously have to have in, some in there because this is vegetarian. Tomatoes, even though tomato is a fruit. It's not an animal. What if those uh, tomatoes were grown on a dead animal? What if they were, yeah, what if they were fertilized by cow turds? We got our onion to pop on there. <coughs> I'm choking on my own spit. Yeah, don't do that. Not good. We'll get our onion on there. Um, we probably should go out and check on our meat list. Mm. 
Now, do those even really need cooked seeing as they're not meat? No, not really. Can you Technically, frozen, eat them, frozen meatless eat them the way they are, you just pick it up. So, I don't, I mean, based off just the smell, I'm, I'm not too, I'm not sold on it already. Like, I just, kind of smells like dog food. I'm not going to lie. But, never judge a book by its cover. So we have to actually taste it. It could be delicious. I don't know. Got some uh, hot pepper there. And we got some plant-based American. Alright, so what we're going to try to do is layer this puppy up. All right? Now, all the ingredients to make this thing, $60. An awful lot of money. Oh. Alright, so we had to uh, switch gears here. And uh, we had to come up with something. We had to come up with something a little bit different. Didn't we, Andy Cole? So... We had to uh, see if the dogs like. Let's see if Anderson likes it. Anderson would eat anything. Anderson would eat anything. You're right. Anderson just loves to eat. All right. So we ended up having to uh, get myself something to actually build this thing on because it was going to be so beastly. Um, you know what? It's not actually horrible. I won't even say it's. Okay, so now I gotta go back to what I was doing here. Gotta get my uh, faking on there. Faking's the only thing that'll stay on. Faking's the only thing that stays on. <clears throat> There you have it. The ultimate vegan burger challenge. Alright, Killer Clan. So, as you saw in the previous clips there, Mr. Pull and myself went ahead and put together this huge vegan burger challenge. It is gigantic. It's got fake chicken, fake, and fake burgers, vegan mayonnaise, no dairy, no egg, no nothing. Nothing at all. It is absolutely. As vegan as we can get, we got some fries to go along with this beast. Not that we really needed some fries along with this monster challenge here, but I don't know. It's going to be my first time trying some vegan stuff, so let's give it a shot. All right, so without further ado, the world's largest vegan burger challenge. Three, two, one. Getting our vegan on. Now, I don't know exactly. I'm going to try to pull these off of here one at a time. Oh, almost lost it. Look at that. I'm going to give you a big bite here. I mean, you know, the funny part is the chicken doesn't taste funny. The burger patties, well, lack of burger patties taste funny. Mmm. -hmm. I don't care, guys. Uh, Plant-based cheese. It tastes okay. I mean, it has like a little bit of a cheese flavor to it. There's a little cross section there. What we got going on? Oh, 
horrible. Get a little more <clears throat> vegan A's there. As you saw during the making this thing, we uh, we gave Anderson some uh, bacon and he liked it. Like an animal product. Whereas I think vegetarians will still eat like eggs and dairy. Get another uh, section of this beast off of there. Let me get that thing. Got a little fake it hanging off the side there. Unless you smell enough vegan aid. Man, he's just greasy. Sorry, vegan A's. See if I can get myself another uh, piece off the pole here. Here's the bacon. You think they actually do that? No. Yeah. Yeah, right now. Mm -hmm. All it would take is to uh, scrub the grill off real quick. Throw a piece of foil down on it. Yeah, there you go. What's the verdict? Is it good enough to make you go vegan? No. <laughs> definitely, <clears throat> definitely have to say I'm not uh, not converting over anytime soon. I gotta pick up my uh, fry crumbles here.
<laughs> I will admit that this uh, vegan A's is it's not really that bad, but uh, for the amount of calories in it, I'm just going to go ahead and eat the regular stuff. I mean, 80 per tablespoon. It's only 20 less than mayonnaise. It's still got oil in it. It just doesn't have egg in it. Yeah, you're just cutting the egg out. That's all you cut out. <coughs> Would you like a piece of this, Mr. Poole? Mr. Poole's hitting back here. He looks, uh, looks like he could eat a piece of this if he wanted. <laughs> he's back here salivating. He's thinking, man, I wish I had some of that. <laughs> I wish I had a no, you don't. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, I had a subscriber uh, send me this spoon. He has my name inscribed on it, so. Uh, Shout out to you, I really appreciate that. I just sweep hash up. They have a funny taste to them. More burgers left here. Oh, bro. It's all the vegan A's. Oh, the vegan A's. Oh, that's, you're down to the one that was all sloppy. Mm hmm Moist and sloppy. Mm hmm fire well. Stop. So the cheese isn't bad. Plant based cheese. Um and the uh, the chicken patty things aren't bad. Chick lack of chicken patties. Pardon me. I want this on it. I'm gonna try to finish this real quick. to uh, speed up there. I was having some trouble with my camera, so uh, about 23.30. Wow. Alright, Killer Clan, so there you have it. Uh, <clears throat> the world's biggest vegan burger challenge. Well, about 23 minutes. Um, hopefully the camera got all that. I was having some trouble with my DSLR. It stopped recording. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I uh, hope that the vegan and vegetarian audience out there enjoyed this. It was something different for me. It put me outside of my comfort zone. 
it uh, some of it was good, some of it eh, not so much. Um, I would recommend uh, just try a few things here and there to see if you can handle it. Chicken replacement was good. The cheese was okay. The bacon and the burger patty replacement, yeah, not feeling it. But uh, anyways, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. It helps me out tremendously. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Killer Kennedy. And until next time, go get yourself some vegan. Make sure you take your wallet, because it's expensive. This is like 60 bucks. Take it easy.